And Gabby Dehack is also reporting that fentanyl was involved in 79% of the opioid related overdose deaths in the state. Now this upstate doctor says something they're seeing more and more. These drugs people are getting off the street have become even more dangerous and deadly. It's just extremely easy to get. It's extremely cheap. South Carolina DHEC reports drug overdose deaths went up 53% from 2019 to 2020. Opioid overdose deaths up 59%. And the only difference is just we're seeing more and more fentanyl, less and less regular traditional opiates in our screens. DHEC says fentanyl related overdoses in 2020 more than doubled. A big issue Dr. Don Vietz says they're seeing quality control. Unlike a treatment center or pharmacy, he says patients are rarely getting just the drug they think they're buying. So if someone thinks they're getting Xanax, they may very well get Xanax, but they may also get six other things with it. Same thing, they'll get fentanyl, but they'll get three or four things. The epidemic still a nationwide issue. Increased funding for prevention, treatment, harm reduction and recovery, get rid of outdated rules and stop doctors and, and the, that stop doctors prescribing treatments. Stop the flow of illicit drugs by working with state and local law enforcement to go after the traffickers. Not only access to more treatment, but also breaking the stigma about addiction and recovery. We would love to see a little bit harsher penalties on that end for certain things, especially if they're particularly bad. But at the same time, I don't believe small amounts of a substance should be enough. If someone's needing treatment, don't, instead of sending them to jail, send them here to our treatment centers. Now on a more promising note, Veet says as the number of COVID-19 cases go down, they have seen in recent months more people actually looking for help and coming in for treatment. Live in Greenville, Kylie Jones, WYFF News 4.